okay so hello guys good day um, this is a pre-recorded video and we're here at nursing informatics week 5 hopefully that you're doing fine and well uh, we would be discussing the continuation of what we have um, taken up last time which is Microsoft PowerPoint we'll be discussing also about a little bit of uh, what you call this uh, informatics and a little bit of um, online activity that would be, I would be discussing later on okay so let me just minimize this one before we start um, let me share a devotional so let me go with the next slide the devotional is entitled um, identifying love okay so let me set up the devotional okay so let me read let me just um turn off my picture so that you won't um get disturbed okay there we go so let me read uh it's entitled identifying with love this is taken from intern varsity which is composed of uh nurses which is um christian having christian fellowships okay okay here let me read from a young age we're taught to speak we're taught to seek approval for our accomplishment we strive for approval from the people and without realizing it we begin to equate the approval with love many learn to associate the lack of approval as lack of love these creatures this creates a longing in our hearts for true acceptance for someone to love us completely for who we are without the need to achieve okay identity crisis as nurses we care for patients or we will care for patients with illness disability and loss of function working with the elderly i'm continually reminded of what it means to love others for who they are as our minds and bodies begin to fail and what once defined can us can disappear our very identities experience crisis as we realize we have less and less to offer for the appro approval of others i think the greatest fear of patients facing loss is the feeling of isolation especially in these times of pandemic um, isolation is really rampant okay for elder elders they recognize their waning independence often people facing deficits resist depending on others i think of a man with a bruised head due to second fall for a month while walking down the backyard steps or a grandmother whose granddaughter has found her at the bottom of her steps unable to get up on her own the common thread here is the unwillingness to accept the limitations and to depend on others so is it society imposed or self-imposed from the cradle to the grave we're taught that we can be loved based on what we have to offer in this world it's no wonder the elderly or disabled is often isolated from society they don't easily relinquish their independent lives the fearful or ultimate rejection keeps them struggling sometimes as with the elderly failing in their homes our patients wants to be loved and accepted and believed this is only possible if they continue to achieve okay as christian nurses we can model the unconditional love we allow to christ we allow christ to fill us and love us because of his sacrifice not because that we or we have not accomplished but because of christ without this perspective i have had no hope in offer I have no hope to offer to my patients but thanks to god i gently remind the patients it's not what they do that makes them lovable it's because god has breathed life into them that they are loved it's truly as simple as that the apostle john puts it in the way found in first john 4 verse 9 to 11 if you ever scriptures or digital bibles it says this is how god showed his love for us god sent his only son to the world so we might live through him this is the kind of love that we are talking about 
not that we once upon a time loved God, but He loved us and sent His Son as a sacrifice to clear the way for our sins and the damage we have done in our relationship with God. My dear, dear friend, if God loves us like this, we certainly ought to love each other. This love empowers each and every one of us to press on in this duty from the cradle to the grave. This is written by Christine Diggins, a family nurse practitioner working in a community healthcare settings. And um, it's a really timely devotional, especially these days. February is assigned as Love Month. And um, usually, we associate with uh, loving others sometimes conditionally um, e, we would love if other people would be giving this or would be giving something in return sometimes that's the, the love the world is teaching right now but as future nurses especially as students right now practice that unconditional love that God gave us um, it's not with the abilities that someone could give us in return but it's the unconditional love that God died for that individual he gave his only begotten son for us to be saved if he had loved you equally he had loved your brother as well so the greatest commandment also um, of God is love one another as you love yourself and at the same time, the bottom line of this whole story is we must love because God himself is love. With that, let's all um, bow our heads for our prayer. Okay, let's pray. Our most gracious God, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father, for this day that you had given to us. Thank you, Lord, for uh, bestowing upon us that uh, you love us, Lord. Even if sometimes we won't love you in return, we take you for granted, Father. But your love is really unconditional. It never changes. And you know the depths of our hearts, Lord. And still, you love us the same, Father. We would like to ask, Lord, for your guidance to be with us as we have our classes for today, especially here in Nursing Informatics. We would like, Lord, your presence to be with us, especially with these students, Father. Continually bless them, Father. Not only financially, not only physically, not only mentally, not only socially, but fill them, Father, with your unconditional love so that love that is in them could be shared, Lord, to others. Father, we would like to ask, Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins, and we would like to, uh, as well, bring back all the glory and honor into your name. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Okay, glass, so good day. Um, I'd be using general terms because this would be also used in the afternoon section. Okay, so that's the memory text. And it's the love month still, so it's in tune. Okay, so for our lecture for today, it's um, laboratory. For my part, the laboratory part, it would be PowerPoint slides and info infographics um, basic introduction to that one it would be an online one because the last time we did it on off, offline with the microsoft powerpoint but before that um we would be giving time to mom herda if there's still announcements mom herda are there announcements i'll be posting this video mom herda if you would like to have an announcement so i could go continuously for if there are no announcements, let's proceed. Okay, so Microsoft PowerPoint, this is just a review. Microsoft PowerPoint is initially um, made for Macintosh, again by Robert Gaskins and Dennis Austin at Fortot Incorporation. Uh, released on April 20, 1987. Later was acquired by Microsoft. It became a household name that uh, is really used. Up until this time that provides visuals for a group of presentation within business organizations usually this was for performance evaluation back then but later it was a common household and now we are using it at school and even in presentations okay so counterpart for it is the Google slides so Google slides 
slides um, in the same design as, as Microsoft PowerPoint it is initially developed by Google LLC it's released in March 9 2006 so it's more than a decade in existence and has the collaborative presentation programs it's also like Google Docs and PowerPoints as well that allows the users to create and edit files while collaborating in real time. Edits are tracked by users with a revision history that presents the changes. Okay, later I'll be showing you how to track the presentations. Okay. Okay, so but before that, let me have um, a glimpse of infographics. Okay, so what is infographics coming from the root word of infographics? Th those are two words that, that are just merged together. Info coming from the word information, meaning the data and graphics, meaning the visuals or display or visualization merging it together the, da the data display or visualization this was this is uh, identified or defined uh, in oxford dictionary as a visual image sus such as a chart or diagram used to represent information or data okay so there is a saying here that a good infographic is worth a thousand words so meaning um information graphics or information or a picture it's basically saying that the picture is worth a thousand words as well so with a small um, data or visualization it would explain lots of words for you infographics had been around for many years and recently the increase of number and easy to use free tools had made the creation of infographics available to a large segment of the population so what composes infographics okay so information for infographics let me just share another screen uh, let me tidy up my screen first okay let me minimize this powerpoint i guess oh i'll just shift the screen sorry let me just shift the screen Okay, so let me minimize this graphic first. This is the devotional. Okay, let me minimize all this one. Okay. Let's go to here. The infographics. Okay. So let me give you an example of an infographic. Can you see it in the display? Okay, so I have here um, one of uh, a good infographics, infographic I mean, uh, that is presented. So it's entitled uh, Average Daily in the Life in the life of Nursing. Okay, so this is the main infographic. Let me click it. Let Hopefully let it would load. Okay, so you can see this one. This is the title. This is the one who created the infographic. So it's mostly, when we say a good infographic, it's more based with the pictures and the graphics and the data as well. So it's just simplified. Um, it's presented in a way that it would not be all text. Okay, so for example, here this, this is a picture of the United States. And it says here that in the United States, there are 2,600,000 licensed nurses in that state so there's a picture of the united states plus the figure of the registered nurses okay so there's a highlight here of three shifts in a week so it's indicated that how many um shifts does the work uh, does the nurse work in a week okay and this one they have the statistics here for 1 million 174 286 the work uh, nurses work on an average day so basically this is just presenting a picture and data in a more uh, visually enticing form okay so sorry we have here uh, informations that could tell us more about a nurse on an average day there are 8,102,573 Americans that are cared so this is the total number of patients that are cared for the patient um, 2.5% of America's total population is a nurse patient, okay? Here, 
we have the goals for nursing um the goals for 2020 which was last year the increase the number of bachelor degree higher to 80 percent and doubling the population of nursing with doctoral degree by that time okay so a nurses what does nurses do it's here okay so a nurse average uh Averagely transfuse at around 82,192 of blood and they take care of 11,100 babies that are born each day. So, data are here. Okay, so here are the population and uh, what they call this uh, educational attainment for majority of the nurses because this is an educational school. 13.2% of the total population of nurses are masters and doctoral holders 36.8 are bachelor degree holder 36.1 has associate degrees 13.9 are di has diploma in nursing okay in every 10 percent increase of bsn there is a four percent decrease in risk of death so it, uh, it means that um additional healthcare workers could decrease the death by four percent so ten percent the more uh, people or nurses that would care for patients there would be significantly decrease in number of mortality or in this case they call it deaths okay so uh, unemployed registered nurses are projected to grow 26 percent to 3.2 45 million by 2020 this was just their projectile um there is still no latest since pandemic but um the point here is this is a basic infographic that is visually uh what you call this enticing uh it's not all text that you would uh you would be reading it all text no picture or if there's just a picture it's just a small amount of picture and then <laughs> the text is text heavy so sometimes it's not that uh enticing uh or uh appealing if it's all in text diba so let's uh see or find samples more of infographics okay so let's have this one let's just have a run through of infographics even if you're not uh what they call this not that um familiar or not that good in um data at least we would be uh given information okay so this one is uh running shoes and anatomy so i don't know much about the running shoes but seeing this infographic could help me out okay so here in this part uh there are two parts of the shoes we have the upper part of the shoe and then the sole yung ilalim and then there is uh, also two parts in the sole okay we have here um the points where there is the heel drop so when we say heel drop it's defined here heel drop aka as offset is essentially measured by the thick end of the heel okay so we have the point of a point a to point b those is those are the parts for the hill drop so me i'm not that familiar with shoes but with this infographic it educates me and gives me information on what i know want to know about that shoes okay or that specific running shoes okay so we also have um this part of the sole it's called the medial post okay so midsole middle nung uh, suelas ng sapatos essential for controlling excessive pronation okay we have also the shank a supportive structure that is indicated so this one gives me information even if i don't know much about the shoes but there is a picture there's a short definition it gives me information rather than reading it all in text okay and you have uh, other parts of the upper part of the running shoes we have here the tongue we have here the heel tab the quarter panel the heel quarter the sock liner we have here the bump the eyelet laces uh, lace garage and the tag okay and the toe box which is inside okay so here is uh the last or lasting Okay, so this one is the contour, mostly of the shape of the shoes. And we have the three kinds of last, the straight kind, we have the semi-curve, and the curve. 
okay so basically i don't know much about the running shoes but viewing these infographics at least at least give you an idea or give you information on something that you really don't know so it's pretty much uh what you call this um good nowadays to have this infographics okay so let me return to my powerpoint presentation again let me shift okay there we go so those are basic informations about it uh information graphics okay let me move to the next slide okay so um for the activity for today um we would be making infographics using our google slides okay but first before we proceed let me go on with some shortcut keys that would be really helpful for you when doing your uh google slides okay so number one shortcut key is creating a new slide creating a new slide here for google slides take note this is for google slides only this is not for microsoft powerpoint because you have a different settings but some of it is similar but these are primarily for our google slides okay so shortcut keys for google slides to create a new slide what we're, go what we're going to use is control m okay so let's do it na lang din so that you could you have an idea let me prepare a slide okay and let me share my screen and let me minimize this one again okay let me minimize this one so we have a guide uh, let me minimize this one and enlarge this one so that you could see it okay so first one is um we'll make a new slide but first uh how will we go to google slides we could go to docs.google.com type in docs.google.com hit enter it would bring you to the google docs initially work pala they are very much creative for the both of the sections i will be displaying it later on okay so here you're no great job good job guys it's really creative okay so when you're here at google docs um click the icon here in the upper left portion sorry here pala in the three lines okay men main menu na tab and then we click on slides so google docs is still under as uh, google slides is still under google docs you could access it through there okay so and then we'll going we're going to make a blank presentation basically this is just a powerpoint so if you're familiar with powerpoint it's just the same okay so here in the upper right portion we could rename so this one would just be sample for today as a guide okay so this one would be sample slide okay for week five okay so the first shortcut it says here that shortcut key is control m okay so i want to make a new slide i'll just hit control m and then automatically there would be there would have a new slide okay so new slide one okay and then the next shortcut key is link okay so for example i want to go to title page this is one works like a hyperlink and okay so i'll just make a end we'll just make a new slide hit enter i want to format the uh what do you call this the slide okay so i could change the settings okay okay so here we could change background under slide okay so we could apply another layout okay so for you to uh, access or change the settings of the slide let's go to slide number three for example you want to change the layout you could go to slide and then layout and then 
okay so here we could do it like so and then i'll just add another one and i could just change the layout again of the slide again it's slide and then go to apply layout and then i want it to be the ending and then i'll just click this one and then i'll just put this one end so we have your first slides and we'll be um doing um or having demonstrations online so bear with me if i'm a little bit jittery <laughs> or not that familiar with this one because i'm just learning with this with you guys okay so let's um again our new slide is control m what i did control m and there's a new slide the next shortcut key is creating the link link is also like hyperlink in the offline if that's why i told you to um, familiarize yourself with uh, linking or watch the video that i have done earlier for week three okay this one is link for example this one i would make this one as a table of contents page with the hyperlink so for example i have a title page that's my slide number one this is the present slide i have the slide number four for graphics and i have the end slide which is slide no, slide number five okay so basically i'll just make this one for um practicing purpose or um, demonstration purposes okay so i could highlight this one and then the shortcut key for link is what again link is oh sorry link is control k so highlight your um text and then hit control k it would tell you that there would be a link i could either paste a link or search for example here but i want this one to be linked here within the slide so this one title page i want to go to slide number one so i'll click slides in this presentation can you see it ba? okay i'll just click it so i'll just click here slide number one the sample slide because i just want to go it there i want the slide to go there and then i'll just hit apply let's try to check okay a shortcut key for presenting is control f5 okay so when i hit control f5 i click title page will it go to the title page yeah it does work so that's the hyperlink or linking within the slides okay so let's uh try making the links again i'll click another text i'll hit command k i'll click slides in this presentation i'll just select the slide number four since i assigned that i'll just apply and then for the end i'll also oh you could also put um links by clicking this one and then uh right clicking on the text that you have selected and click link if you forget the command key but it's command k if you sorry command sorry control k i'm uh sorry for that one i'm thinking of a mac but we're on windows pala so it's control k so i'll just select the end slide okay so let's check if it works let's you could either present uh what do you call this present here in the upper right button okay let me maximize or control f5 present okay let's check if the slides are working so will it go to the title page if i click it yes okay so let me go to the second page again will it go to four yes we don't have a no the what do you call this graphics yet later we'll just put it and then oh sorry it went out will it go to the end slide okay so it works okay so let's just um put some graphics so that we could return to the original page let me insert some shapes okay so this one would be a return key i'll just assign this one as return keys okay i did a uh, square i i press ctrl c and then i pasted it with ctrl v okay so i want this one to be linked to the second slide select slide in this you know presentation i'll link it to the slide two also this one ctrl k i'll link it link it to the second slide this one as well ctrl k link to the second slide and this one as well ok 
Okay. Oops, I forget to apply it. Don't forget to hit on apply. Let me check for the others as well. Yep. Uh, I did not hit apply. So downside. Okay, so let's check control F5 and can I go back? Okay, let's go back. Can I go back to page two? Yes, let's go back. Can I go back? Okay, so basically it would go back. We have here our hyperlinks that are working. Okay, next one for the link is you could add comments. <laughs> for example, you're working in groups. Uh, you could use the chat box here. Sorry, you could use the chat box here to add comments. Okay, for example, you're multiple users. Okay, so for example, I'll just first add users here because this is just a new slide. I'll add my other email accounts. Okay, so I'll just add. Okay, so before editing it, let's change the link. To anyone with the link so it's not restricted I'll hit done so it's in sharing mode I'll add people so I'll add a health assessment and I'll add my main email address okay and I'll click send automatically when I open other emails so for example this one is uh, Mac health assessment I, I, I added him so let me go to the Gmail. Oh, it went out. Okay, so let me type in the password first. I wish I memorized it and it's still the same. Okay, I think I got in. Also, I'll just open my other email address as well. Okay, this one is open. I'll just use the Adventist Health because I sent it in as well. And let's try to collaborate. I'm using VPN, that's why it's <laughs> because of my work, other work. Let me go back to English because I don't understand. Arabic Okay, so Gmail I made this one real quick I don't know why it translates automatically to ano Change to English Yan Went back Why am I signed out? Okay So This is the real thing <laughs> you hit on technical difficulties i'll just do the alternate okay so here um i have the link for nursing yeah so here i have my other email i also have here for health assessment the slide okay so basically i could see all the participants that are here so here we have um my other account and then uh, okay, it doesn't open slides. Let me open first. Okay, so here we have three participants. You could give them a chat or you could chat to them directly. Hi, right, guys. So you could see here that there is a chat real time that you could chat with each other. Okay, so for example, let, let let me go to the uh, no, slides presentation. I'll just minimize this too and then maximize this one. So in real time, you could see that they're editing the slides. For example, one of your group members, for example, Mac Health Assessment. I'm seeing that Nursing Informatics is online. I'm seeing that Val is also online. For example, I want to edit the second page. For example, here is your one member as also i could see that uh, my mac has health assessment is typing something so for example i want to edit this one let me close the chat box so that you know this is my edit can you see it online okay so real time 
as what Google Docs is doing as well. You could see it real time. Okay. And for example, the other one, the other account. Let me go to the other account. Okay. So for example, this one, I'd be edi editing the content. So let's finish this project. Okay. So we deviated. We have here comments. You could do comments by hitting Control Alt M. Again, for comment is Control Alt M. For example, I want uh, me as Mac Informatics. I want uh, Val to edit this part. I'll hit Control Alt M, and then I could add comment, and I could tag at. Okay, and then I could place a sign and then please edit this part. And then assign automatically it would be prompting the other one to your other group mate to edit that part. Okay, so that's one thing. For example, you want to do it asynchronously, you have to go offline and your other um, group mates are still online, you could do so. Okay, so we have here a uh, cool feature i think it's a gimmick but i think i like that this gimmick it would help you um, in making your notes easily okay so for example are, are you familiar with notes this one are notes that uh, as a speaker you could see yourself and then when you're presenting other people could not see it for example this this one you would like to record note okay so recording or voice voice type speaker note is Control shift s so control shift test would um, prompt you to creating this microphone you just allow it and then once you pre you press this one automatically google would try to transcribe the things that you are saying through your headpiece or microphone <laughs> sometimes it's not it's not that accurate head pizza instead of head piece head piece so sometimes it needs some work depending also on your vocabulary uh, on your diction or vocabulary but at least it's 60% to 70% accurate and just press the red button with the microphone to end the session okay so with that oh so it has also voice command that says period and then press new line so that you could go to another line so this one is hands-free if you're using a mobile phone to edit this one would help you in making your notes fast and efficient for example you're you're having your thoughts because sometimes you're having your creativity uh, at the spur of the moment why not record it and let google try to transcribe it for you with the notes for your specific sample file okay so uh, these are basic uh, undo is control z redo is control y for example i don't want uh, this one i'll just press control z i would remove i want to redo uh, typing this guys or this notes i'll just uh, put place in control y so that's undo and redo okay so what more can we do with google um slides okay so the features we could import offline slides okay so let me prepare a slide let me open another slide here let me exit this first file okay so maybe that that's a wrong idea i'll just press it presenter mode again okay so maybe let's uh, try to upload this slide i'll try to upload this one even if it's open let me see that feature file if you want to upload an important offline slide uh you have two ways of doing so you could make a slide in your old computer and then later on upload it here through slides so how could i import a specific or previous slide that i have already made you just go on file you just 
um, click here import slides it's under files again okay file go to import slides we'll try to upload from the computer if for example you have multiple slides here in the drive you could do so in importing here but we want to upload from the computer I'll just select or I'll just try to check uh, okay here I have nursing informatics week 5 I'll try to open it um, give it a little um, ample of time depending on the number of slides that you have and depending on the content that is it has and then and here we have here the slides you could select the slides that you want to import you could it could be one it could be all it could be only a few for example I just want to upload uh, this two so I could click those two slides slide four and five and then I'll hit on import slides okay so automatically it's imported so that is Mac nursing informatics so would it reflect that you had imported or uh, uploaded that slides yes it could so it uh, me i'm viewing it as health assessment uh, sorry i'm viewing it as sorry health assessment upload so if i click i could see that health assessment uploaded this slide and i could when i there's two ways to do that i could see that health assessment is working on slide number four or i could just hit on here last edit seconds ago open version history i could see here the people who have done or contributed to the slide for example violet who's violet okay mac health assessment done slide four and five that's why it's easy to check if you guys have done the slides individually because it would have their versions and editors contributors by that certain amount of time okay so mac assessment have done this nursing informatics done this one and a uh, portion of this was done by okay so blue orange okay you could see the contributions unless edited okay so let me go to the main let me go to nursing informatics version so you could go back to the main slide okay so here okay so what more can we do we can see real-time collaboration which i demonstrated earlier making uh, making a copy online for editing so for example i want to duplicate this slide okay so i'll just go to the main uh home by clicking slides home you would be brought back to the documents Okay, this is the sample slides. I want to make a copy for this one so that I could share it to another bunch of people. Because we could not um, put uh, multiple people or it has a capacity limit of people to edit. So I could either make it available offline or I could either click here. The three dot. Oh, sorry. Oh, my bad. Oh, sorry i just go to file make a copy okay i could either make an entire presentation or a selected slide or for example i want to copy the entire presentation i just rename it sample 2 for sharing okay and then i'll hit ok automatically i'd be taken uh, to another screen with a new with the same uh, what you call this with the same slides but a new file name let's check if it got duplicated so this is my original file and this is the duplicate file so that's the um, copying and uh, editing for editing okay so let's go to attaching files let's go to the sample again okay so here let me attach files let's insert a video i want it uh but here you're just limited here for youtube and urls for youtube 
for, for example you have your google drive you have here shared with me recent and in drives okay so for example um i'll just try to select this one and see if it would attach okay so automatically it's uh this is a youtube link that i've made let's try if it's it plays okay so it does play even if it it's uh in preview form or editing form okay let me let's try to present that let's see on how it would uh see okay so it's working you could see that we could attach video attach files google forms to uh, microsoft office or okay. Mic microsoft so that's um sampling on how you would attach files you could also insert audio but i d i don't have any audio files for now for example you have recording that you want voice over or narrations over you could do so you just uh hit a recording or record a file clip of your voice and then attach it at that certain file okay we could also insert shapes tables charts bar diagram word art okay so that there's we could also do photos but i don't have any photos so basically you get attachment of medias or files Okay, next one is hyperlink to slides. I've demonstrated it earlier. For example, let's just make here YouTube tutorial for um, illustrations purposes again. Illustration purposes. Let's make a link for this one. You just, just hit Control K. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Control Control sit Control plus K, and then. Let's try presentation slides. Okay, so we just go to slide number four, Google Slides, and then apply. And let's let's try to check. Control F5 to present. Go to oops, let's go to YouTube tutorial. Will it go here? So it's here. So on click it would auto play so we know that it's working okay so we have here well we are here at the slide presentation uh, we have here uh, audience q a while you are presenting it's enabled there so while you're presenting you could go q question and answer here okay so viewers of your presentation would uh okay so you just be you'll just be sending them this link. And you could ask the question. Hi, how did you do that? Then try submit. And then while you're presenting, here is your presentation. You could see that there is a question while you are presenting. Just share your this link so that they could uh, ask the question while you are presenting. Okay, so that's um, linking and adding questions. Okay, and you could view the speaker's notes um, for this one if you had made your notes, the right? uh, Where's the page that we have our notes? I guess it's on. okay here's the speaker notes the one that we recorded earlier so you could view the speaker notes here and you have also have the audience tool here okay so that's uh, how you would present your google slides okay let me close this one we close this one as well okay so those are the features that are good here in google slides if you're using this one last feature here is present online okay again uh control f5 okay we could view our notes here your audience is seeing this slide you could view your notes here you could view the time as well you could jump to specific slides okay 
and then you could use your mouse as a pointer okay you just click on pointer you could also uh, use your captions turn it on okay turn it on it's subtitle but i don't know if it's that accurate but i think it is if you speak very very slow and clear cheers okay and then um we have here the other settings open speaker notes um automatic or looping slide okay you could download this one as a powerpoint as well and download it as a pdf if you want to okay let me exit okay so basically that's um how we would uh be using our google slides so you saw how we would collaborate and uh how we would be checking if our groupmates is cooperating and at the same time we could present it as well as a group okay so for your requirements for today this is just a fun part okay so for our group assignment and activity uh groupings so collaborate using slides so create your own your group leader would create uh, slide add your members for group leaders and instruct them to edit your uh, his or her own personal infographic so basically what you would do is you will make an infographic for example your own uh, as much as possible create links and hyperlinks within the slide what i've did with the com con command sorry control key and key and then and uh, try navigating through the slides na okay yung submission yung transitions and uh, jumping of your links okay so make it visually pleasing even uh, parang um, create your personal infographic as good as it gets so what details would you be putting there you could just use the uh, um, data that you have done with your Google Docs, diba? For example, let me let me try to have an illustration. Okay, let's make a blank one. Okay, for example, your group name is Team Sampling. Okay, let me add a theme. So let me put the section section A or section B and let's make a new one for example uh team sampling your first uh, slide would be about your about page so you could put here um team sampling is the best team now i'll just be doing this as an example so tell me a uh, short description about your group here and put here your members so for example members i have member number one member two member three member four member five okay so let me for example for members lang kayo okay put the name of your group mates okay and linking them so for each member of the group you would be editing your own slide so for example I'll say member number one member one if i want to put a picture of me i'll put a picture of me i'll put my likes and dislikes the yung mga linagay natin so sir why are we making this one so basically you're making for example you're making a patient's chart or profiling you're just we're just making it as a parang form of a chart or data for your patients it's having your for example you're putting a member you have their description their diagnosis but for this part we'll just be putting hobbies your likes and dislikes your why you became a nurse okay your motto in life if you want to put it okay you edit your 
your uh, what do you call this your data that you have put you may use your google docs um data that you have done in the earlier weeks that we had made okay you place your picture be creative with it if you want to place your likes and dislikes put your icons there you put something about yourself that um, would say that it's an uh, infographic about me not much of the words but try to make it visually appealing to describe yourself okay for example member one would edit his slide member two would edit his slide or her slide as well okay member three would edit his or her slide as well so each member of the group would edit your own okay remember your own slide okay when i say links put link okay for member number one for example um okay i'll link my own name control k i'll link it for member number one okay so we could go back and try to make a link that could go back to the selection okay you could make a square and edit the square or make a insert a graphic or a design that it's not that obvious that you could place a link back to the slides okay so this one is slide number two i want to go get it back there so you get the idea or point Okay, for our icebreaker next week, um, we would be having this one as an icebreaker. You would be presenting this in class and try to um, navigate uh, options and what you have learned during. Uh, one representative of your group would be uh, presenting this one as an icebreaker during activities. Because let's try to have a synchronous class by next week. Okay, so uh, you get my point. Okay, use that for a collaborate as much as possible. Use hyperlinks in the slide. Or you could also place transitions. Okay, I forgot to tell you about the transitions. You could click all of the slides and then go to right click. You could hit transition upon right click. Okay, you could use slide transitions. Uh, you could do fade apply to all slides you could do also object animation you could add animation let's add animation let's do cheesy animations let's do spin let's try to check okay and upon click okay it spins in and out okay so um try putting in transitions as well okay hyperlinks and uh, transitions if you want to okay and submission of the activity is due on february 26 um not later than four o'clock p.m okay so don't forget to share it with me by sharing it to mac nursing info at adventist.mnl.com okay so that i could check it and i could collaborate with you guys so if it's clear or you could just message me for any questions okay so reminders um for those of you who have not forwarded their permits please forward it to me within the day because maybe you forgot it because you have got stressed within last week uh, please forward it, uh, it today failure to forward it today will will forfeit you with your preliminary exam grade so i would be giving a new exam grade by next week if you fail to um forward me your preliminary permits okay so please attend always our chapel period um this is the link for that one yung mac ibalita but sad to say i'm not the admin of that page so i could not uh, add you i'll just uh, tell mom divine divina for adding you guys if you are not members of that group as well okay so during the no don't forget to fill up the attendance form if the no questions maybe let's end this with a prayer okay uh let's bow our heads god heavenly father god of love god of understanding and god of creation we thank you father for this day that you had given to us and 
we would like to ask Lord and thank you Lord for guiding us and protecting us continually blessed with these wonders, wonderful students Father as well as the family that each they represent uh, bless us this day give them the knowledge wisdom and understanding and the zeal for finishing their studies thank you Father for blessing each and every one of us keep us and guide us with your holy angels for today this we pray Father in the loving name of Jesus we pray Amen so with that guys good night sorry good night good day pala. have a nice day and i hope that you'll be always safe and uh don't forget to push on and practice your uh skills in furtherance with your career path and progress so with that god bless everyone keep safe